Hello Taurus, welcome to your weekly reading. This is actually the last one for now. Um, my energy <laughs> has shifted into doing two monthly readings um, per zodiac for the month. Am I saying this right? Yeah. Um, it just, the weekly energy just isn't there for me. Like I'm pushing them out at this point, but this is the last one. Um, so this is for September 25th through October 1st, Taurus. Um, yeah. So we're going to do love, money, career, and then a random message for the week. So let's see what we got for you. Okay. So Taurus, love. Okay, so expectations, not today. Um, I'm seeing this being paired in threes. So let's see what's coming out of it. The Grim Reaper. Cool with whatever. The Graduate. Team Awesome. Okay, this is a realization that someone that you're in a relationship or talking with will never be exactly what you want them to be. Um, I feel like you've tried to kind of move things in that direction or change the scenario or whatever it is that you're, you've been doing. Um, and it hasn't been working. If anything, has made the tension a little bit tighter between you two. Well, not a little bit, just tighter between you two. Um, now... <laughs> this week there's this realization of like okay so now what's the next step it's either we're going to end this it's either this is over or it's either I need to learn how to deal with it and just kind of take the punches you know um I feel like you've decided you're going to decide I'm not sure how this is going to happen but it'll it may come out in the cards um to just have open communication and to not take things to heart that your partner is saying. And hopefully they don't take it to you, to heart for them either. Um, but to just try to remain as open as possible, you know. But let's see what's going on here. The Emperor and the Tower, Seven of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, the Sun, Seven of Swords, Two of Cups, and the King of Swords. Yeah. I see you not having as much control as you want. Um, this is a thing of like, Taurus, you're like, if I have control, if things go my way, this would be better than it is right now. You know, it's just that idea that that's what, <laughs> that's what needs to happen. Um, but you're starting to see that the more that you struggle to get control, the more things just keep like falling down. It's more like there's a change happening in your relationship and the dynamic and you have to allow it to happen. It's not about you having control. Even though you think that that's what's going to fix it, you think that's what you need to do. It's, it's these expectations that you have that just doesn't fit the scenario of what's going on currently. Yeah, I feel like your partner is, like, pulling back. They're not working as hard. They're not putting in as much effort. They're just sort of going with the flow of what's happening, but I don't see them wanting to leave. Um, your partner does not feel very confident in this relationship or in themselves. I don't feel like it's with you. It's more like they've tried to change things or they've tried to speak up but you're like that doesn't fit the scenario 
you know that that's not what I see for me so let's try something else you know and I feel like that's making them feel very off put uh, not important they're like seeking attention other ways and I don't feel like it's cheating it's more like focusing on the home or maybe spending money something like that um I see that this situation, it feels like you're stuck in this scenario. Um, and this scenario is kind of sad. Like it's not the best case scenario. Um, and it's like, so what do I do now that I'm stuck here? Okay. And I feel like there needs to be proper communication of how you're feeling. Um, there needs to be a sense of openness without judgment here. That's what needs to happen. It's not going to resolve it, but it's going to help make this situation tolerable because I don't see either one of you leaving. Okay. Okay. Resign, retire, multitasking, and growth. There's a heavy focus on the future and what's going to happen when you retire. So I feel like you're doing a lot to prepare for that. And also you might be like really focused on your children, your future. Yeah, there's a lot of focus on the future here this week for you, Taurus. You're feeling like you should do more. You're feeling like life is mundane. Like what you have right now when it comes to money and career or assets are not where you want to be. Um, so I see you like trying to recoup that. Um, you're thinking about your retirement. You're really focused on the future. That's what this energy is telling me. It's like right now is not where I want to be. Um, it's like I'm working hard I'm working harder and not smarter and you want to work smarter and not harder okay um, so I see you're like okay my focus is my <clears throat> excuse me my focus is my future my, fu my focus is growth my focus is what's next yeah and you're super focused on it. <laughs> it's more like, if this doesn't happen, I don't know what's going to happen to my future. You know, it's like a very intense, I need to fix things. I, I want to be independent. I want to be able to handle things when I retire, like, and not have to worry about what's going to happen next when I don't, when my body is not able to continue. You know, something really deep like that. I know that sounds weird, but um, I'm trying to put this into words. So bear with me, Taurus. Um, 
it's like okay i'm gonna say it like this it's like you have a lot of things to do like you have a lot of things on your plate right um and you're like some of these things i don't don't need to be my only focus some of these things i need to delegate or stop doing so i can focus on the things that are important that's the mindset um because if i keep doing this i'm going to i'm i'm missing out on my opportunity to do the things i love or the things that could bring me more satisfaction or get me you know more in contact with my goals and aspirations ironically you're letting go of some fears um because i see there are some things that you have held on to that you need to let go of. Essentially, it's time because it creates limits to what you can do and what you can create. But also there's a piece of you that is like, this is heavily idealistic, what I'm thinking right now. But I still want to try. I still want to try to reach my goals, even though it may not seem, it may seem idealistic. But what's interesting is you're in a space right now of less worry than you usually have about things like that. You might be a little bit impulsive as well. But that little bit of impulsivity is helping you start things. So it's not bad. Okay. Okay, we have Fox, Garden, and Crossroads. Yeah, this is like a false start. <laughs> it's like realizing, Taurus, that you've had some sort of false start. Uh, it's not bad. It's just like, oh, I should have, I should have thought about this before, but you weren't there. I feel like spiritually um wisdom wise you weren't there yet and so don't beat yourself up about it you wouldn't you you know you had to grow through things to get where you are today um but it's like that realization of what once what was your goal or what once seemed important to you things that you were like i will never change that i'll never let that go you know you are <laughs> uh, um because you have a, a a vision of growth that you're trying to uphold or create. Um, and now you got to make some changes. And I feel like they're different decisions. You know, they're different priorities. So... Seven of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Death and Rebirth. They named that one twice. The Lovers, Temperance, and the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's like you've released what is keep you const- constrained, constricted. Um, like your thought process. Like you were like, I will never change my mind. I will never change this. I feel like that energy is changing for you. And you're becoming more of an individual. You're becoming more free. Um, you're like following your spiritual lead. What's good for you. Cleansing from the past. It just feels like there's some self-care here. By getting rid of mental stru- structures decisions that you've made that kind of keep you trapped you know so I feel like you're moving <laughs> moving on from that um but change change is scary change is the challenge here because you're like if I don't make the changes if I don't fix the imbalances if I don't fix what isn't right you know like because at this point you're just being selfish and you know like and conceited and ego driven when you're like you know what I'm not going to change anything I'm going to do what I've always done but you know that it's not working you know that it's not going to help you achieve your goals at this point there has to be a change and I feel like the focus is on growth here then Yeah, I, I feel like <laughs> you've come to a, dis, a a point of deciding where <laughs> if you want growth, if you want um, to move forward, if you want to secure a proper future for yourself, you can't over you can't overindulge in a routine. You have to try something new. You have to do something new. Especially when you know that it's time. It's like you know that it's time. You know what needs to happen. Just do it. (laughs) You know? So, Toys, I love you. I'll talk to you later, okay? (laughs) Bye-bye.